Good morning, everybody. I wanted to show you an episode with uh, making espresso, and uh, what better to dial in our coffee in the morning. Uh, here with me, our bar manager, Stephanie. She's going to make all the espressos today. But before we start, I'm going to talk you through the equipment that we're using here. So, in our bar, we're using these uh, Master Rober grinders. Uh, they're quite durable, uh, very heavy duty. And because we have a high line or a high peak hour in the weekends, we need to have a three-phase grinder which has much bigger burrs so we don't heat up the coffee. Yeah, it's not the best grinder in the world, but still I haven't found one that is as durable and consistent in high peak hours. Um, the machine is a La Marsocco Linea PB. Uh, we use this be mainly because it's a great machine. We've had it for three years with no service or anything. Uh, they just work and they're really stable in uh, brew temperature. And we can also program these buttons uh, to give us an accurate water dose. So that means we will get the same amount of water every time. So we just have to focus on the same amount of coffee in the filter every time. And then the espresso gets very, very consistent. Uh, it also has other benefits, but that's the main, uh, main uh, thing we're using it for. Uh, the pressure is set to around 110 PSI, which is around 8 bar. And the brew water temperature is 93 and a half degrees, meaning it'll maybe fluctuate between 93 and 94 degrees. So that's, and that's measured in the actual group. So that's how we make coffee. The water is uh, filtered Oslo water. We just use a carbon filter because Oslo water is the best in the world. All right, should we start making an espresso? Yeah. Let's do it. So we, we always flush the group just to clean the dispersion screen. And then we clean the filter with a dry cloth to remove uh, coffee grounds and moisture. Now Stephanie is just checking the dose. We're aiming for 20 grams in the filter, 20 grams of coffee. And now she's just distributing a little bit, removing the excess coffee. Tamping, we're using the TampSure kit to make sure it's level. Uh, because that's very important. Don't be so focused on tamping hard. Level is the key. Now we're pushing one of the pre-programmed uh, buttons that will give us around 40 grams of espresso in the cup, depending on the coffee. So the ratios will change, you know, depending a little bit on the coffees. Sometimes we use 19 grams, sometimes it's 38 grams in the cup and so on. So, um, but this recipe is a Caballero espresso. We're using uh, 20 grams in, 40 grams out. The machine will always give you a little bit of uh, variance. So now Stephanie is going to measure the extraction of this uh, shot that we just made. And uh, to do that, we use a syringe and we pull about two milliliters of uh, uh, espresso after she mixed it a little bit. She mixes it just by pumping the espresso in and out of the syringe. And then we filter the espresso because it has a lot of uh, undissolved solids in it. And we just want to measure the dissolved solids. And we put the filtered liquid into a glass to cool down the liquid a little bit. And now she's taking a little sample, putting it on the, on the refractometer. Try not to get any air bubbles in it. Then we have to wait just a brief moment for the temperature of the liquid to be the same as on the refractometer. And then we can test and put in all the numbers in the Coffee Tools app. And uh, let, we're aiming for around 19.5 to 20% extraction with this grinder uh, and pressure. And now we hit 19.84% extraction, which is pretty good. Then we know this espresso will more or less taste very sweet. It doesn't mean we can't get it to taste better, so let's taste stuff. We're using these uh, big cups because uh, we want to cool down the liquid a little bit. Espresso never tastes really great when it's super hot, so it's easier for us to taste when it's a little colder. The shape of the cup is uh, kind of helping uh, this coffee at least to become more sweet. Uh, we have other cups for more uh, acidic coffees and so on. So what do you think? Sweet, 
but I know we can get it even more sweet and balanced. So to get it more sweet and balanced, what would you suggest that we did do? Then I would maybe um, set the grounder a little bit finer. A little bit finer, yeah. Yeah. Because we, we do sense a little bit of uh, acidity in this cup. Uh, not an unpleasant acidity, but it should be a little bit sweeter in the aftertaste. Yeah. So to do that, we are using the same measurements, 20 grams in the filter, 40 grams in the cup. We're just adjusting a little bit finer on the grind. Finer gets the espresso sweeter, but also potentially more bitter. Uh, coarser gives you more acidity and potentially more sourness. So you just want to hit that balance. So let's make another one, huh? Yes. And what was the shot time on the first one? 28. 28, okay, perfect. Perfect. So should we measure this one as well? So same procedure on measuring uh, the second shot of espresso. First you mix the uh, liquid and then we filter it. Then we take a sample and put it on the refractometer. The shot time this time was how much, Steph? 30 seconds? Yeah, yeah so two seconds longer. And then uh, we'll see if that affects the extraction. It should go up a little bit. It's the same. <laughs> Yes, if the extraction is the same, then probably something went wrong in the process. So you might have some channeling or something like that. So let's make another one and see if that's better. So the third shot, uh, the extraction went up a little bit. The shot time uh, was also around 30 seconds. And the extraction now is around 20%, 20.18 to be uh, correct. Let's taste this. It is definitely more balanced and sweeter. And, and even more juicy as well. Yeah. So. I think uh, we're happy with this. Let's open the door and see the customers coming in, huh? Yeah. So we're celebrating Eric's last day today. Uh, he's been with us for two years. Yeah. Yeah. And he's been our roaster, roasting 2,566 batches. Out of those, we don't really know how many he failed, but uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Eric. So as you can see, dialing in our espresso is quite easy. Of course, we normally spend more than three shots before we're happy. But uh, from day to day, it's not a huge variation in shot times and extraction. So we, we log this in a ring binder uh, so that the, next, the person working the next day can see what the parameters were yesterday. Uh, a couple of things to look for is, uh, of course, you need to know what kind of filter you're using. We're using the 20 gram VST filters. So when you're using a 20 gram filter, you should use 20 grams of coffee, but not always. So if the dry puck is touching the dispersion screen in the machine, you need to have a little bit less coffee. And it depends a little bit on the grinder and the coffee that you're using. Uh, always look for channeling. I always uh, just check the puck. If we had severe channeling, I don't really bother measuring the extraction, but if there's no channeling, then we can measure the extraction and taste the espresso and then see if it's tasting good. And when it's tasting good, you should just sling the shots out the door. Huh? <laughs>